so today we got the konami ban list for the december list which is going to go on till march as you can first see we have ourselves a dragon buster sword now you might be wondering this man doesn't sound too enthusiastic or he sounds pretty i basically already know i've kind of got my information i made a video previously i made a video that's not going to air because i just was upset i was just really saying a lot of bad words just kind of like why is this a ban list but yeah we got dragon buster got ourselves a link cross and then we got ourselves a smoke grenade all banned nothing really put on the limited list um we got some seminal limited for true king's return congratulations all you true king players and then we got you know um unlimited totally awesome abc cool we get we're gonna see some more uh more random you know paleozoic toads whatever burning abyss is gonna be a little bit buffed but um this ban list really just was a nerf to dragon links and especially infernobles which use the link cross format strat for its synchros and smoke grenade to actually make the deck viable and worth playing um yeah no i'm not entirely happy or enthusiastic but we kind of were everyone was kind of given a hint as to what would be banned or or not like unbanned based off of the maximum gold reprinted list um it's something that just just came out you kind of can see where konami's intentions were and that as much as a lot of people want you know like something like maybe the dinosaurs i particularly want dinosaurs to be removed from the game that's just me because i'm tired of dealing with it um a lot of decks that i've made my friend who plays dinosaurs just beats me because he's just like all right you know i put this down and now all your monsters are completely at risk. And it's annoying. The fact that, you know, Red Eyes Darkness Metal wasn't just put to, like, semi or something. Because let's be honest here. This is not as a good a world beater as it used to be. There's too many things that exist in the, in the game right now that kind of make this a lot, a lot less important. Though, it's, I mean, I, it's still worth worthy of being limited. It's just... For me, personally, with its new writing, it's not as important. Anyways, so overall, nerf to these guys. <sighs> it's a shame. I really was hoping that Link Ross... If Link Ross was going to get banned, I was hoping the other boy, Halka Firebrax, would also get banned. Because, let's be honest here, um, people who run Halki can run Halki without using Link Ross. People who run Link Ross can only run Link Ross to a certain extent, and then it's basically done. It's basically over. Um, at least that's how I've been playing it. Because when I run Link, I only run Link Ross in my Infernobles deck, and I can kind of get to a certain point where I can make like one or two guys, but then I'm done. But people who run Halki can kind of run, you know, make Link like you know they make Link Ross, they run Halki, blah blah blah. There's always these like alternate ways of com like combating the meta. So people who run Halki, congratulations. Um, no ban to Dark Dragoon, which was kind of unsurprising. What was surprising is that there was no nothing touching freaking uh, your boy. What's his name? Oh, yeah, Pride of Plant, Verte Anaconda. Which means everyone who wants to just throw a Red Eyes in there, Red Eyes Dark Dragoon in their deck, is still has the freedom to do so. Awesome. Overall... Is this uh, a good ban list? Not particularly, but it's because of what Konami was selling. We already know that that's going to be their mainstay. So is this going to make the meta better or worse? It's not going to do jack. It's All it's going to do is hit a couple decks that were going to be phased out. or They're good enough, like Dragon Links is good enough where they can kind of still get around some of this stuff and just find a car that does relatively the same thing and kind of go from there. Except maybe... Um, Link Ross, but you know, Smoke Grenade wasn't really so. It, it was a pain, but it wasn't so deathly that you could avoid it because they just run the gates anyway. So who cares? But yeah, um, there's going to be a whole bunch more problems with the new, new Divine Zeus, all these other new cars that have come out that are going to be just kind of sitting there waiting to be abused. Um, no hand traps were messed with because those are the only things that allow for competitive play because it's usually just a who goes first then you just build all your negate your unbreakable board and if they don't have any hand traps you basically lose the game 
or you can try to play through it, but you're going to be negated most of the time. So right now, if you're trying to get into this competitively, there's no point. There's not an absolute point to do this. This game is something I love, but it is competitively not worth playing. That's my take. It's a it's a disappointed take, but it is what it is. It's just the ramblings of an old old Yu-Gi-Oh fan, I guess. Anyways, guys, like, comment, subscribe, blah blah blah, all that YouTuber nonsense. Most likely you're not going to like it. You're going to dislike this video for not being so hype about it. Um Leave me a comment for sure telling me like, oh, you know, this is this was fine because of this reason. Or no, I agree with you because they should have banned more. Me, that's my personal take, should have banned more stuff so that we can start figuring out what's really affecting everybody. Instead, they banned three cards that really just hit like two decks. And just take a new deck out of the meta, which is awesome. It's not a big deal. I don't even, I play Infernobles, but I don't even really run... The Infernoble strategy, I just summon Dark Law and then just put all my Infernoble Knights on it. You can see from my other videos. I'll probably make another video just kind of quickly explaining it since I'm still trying to get better at making shorter videos. Anyways, I think that's just a good reason for me to stop anyways. Goodbye, guys.